so I figured it was time to um, make a video and this is gonna be a little bit of a rant now, that's not gonna get too shouty because <laughs> I know you know people don't really listen to you when you yelling and screaming now I might get a little loud I, I have a tendency to get passionate about my point but I'm not trying to scream and yell and get all silly you know that's that's just not what this is supposed to be about but what I am going to be talking about along with this little mini rant is the new direction that my channel's going in and why I'm choosing this new route now that's not to say that I won't still talk about sports on this channel that'll still be a part of it but my primary focus is going to be on uh, consumerism and the reason being is because consumerism is starting to falter for a great number of reasons you know I see more and more consumers right now where they're advocating for complacency and, and just being quiet not co complaining they call it complaining and hating and all these different labels they want to put on criticism well, if we don't use a critical eye as consumers when we buy our products, then what use are we? We just may as well be sheep. We may as well bend over and let the corporations do whatever they want to do with us. I don't believe in that. I think most people would agree that as consumers, we have to advocate for ourselves. We have to have our own backs. The corporations don't give a damn about us. They don't look at us as uh, uh buddies and pals and friends I know a lot of people get on Twitter and they you know act as if they have some sort of relationship some friendship those developers don't have no friendship with you the only reason they get on Twitter is to convince you that they care about you enough so that you will buy their product that's it they get paid a salary for everything they do it's not a personal relationship now I, I, I don't care if you take offense to that but that's the absolute truth even with those dudes that are the game changers, that ain't no, uh, that's not a personal relationship. Yo, that's a setup with mutual benefit. They benefit by getting the games for free and being able to promote them and to also increase their views. EA gets free promotions. Word of mouth. Get that game out. I mean, that's the truth. I'm not trying to be mean or any of that bullshit what you want me to be dishonest I mean bottom line at the end of the day that's a business relationship uh, they don't call them uh, what is it influencers for nothing that's exactly what they are they are influencers that's why me and Smitty today had an exchange where he was trying to compare a, a glitch to real life and I challenged him on that shit it's silly now I don't hate Smitty it's not an emotional thing I don't dislike about it it's not about emotions and all that shit he ain't my friend we ain't pals but you know if he's gonna say some some wackadoo shit and he's supposed to be a voice with a content you know ha has a, a, a decent following then he has a responsibility to be honest about these products that's not honest and I want him to back up his claims just like you should want anybody to back up their claims. Just like if I make a claim, if I make a definitive claim, you need to hold my feet to the fire and have me back that shit up. Present some actual facts. Not just putting tweets out there and then hashtag fact on the end of it. That don't mean shit. If my channel was were to grow and get bigger and I get a bigger following and I'm out here speaking to a mass of people about these video games and I claim to be telling facts and truth well that's what you should expect and I should get fact checked everybody should shouldn't recoil and deflect and, and try to change the conversation just because I put something out there and said it was fact and then somebody challenges me on it then I take offense and, and start recoiling and, and changing the subject that means I didn't believe in the shit that I said in the first damn place that's how it happens but at the end of the day, this is supposed to be about us being consumers and getting solid products, not about uh, buying into to bullshit narratives just to sell a product. That's what the corporations thrive off of. They thrive off of us right now, looking at, uh, looking at us as being sheep 
and wanting to lay down. All this talk, when you hear consumers talk this anti-consumer bullshit about negativity, haters, and all that shit. You know what the corporations are sitting back doing? They're thinking like Dave Chappelle. Gotcha, bitch. You know why? Because they do. Because we're sitting back letting them. We're giving them free reign to do whatever they want to do because they know that there is a, a groundswell of people out there willing to lay down and take anything they give them. They read them little comments, you know, I, I, I don't want to get involved in the negativity. They say, well, you got them. That's it. Back it up, boys. We're going to be rich. <laughs> I mean, shit. That's what the industry. That's what the industry right now is turning into. It's turning into a farce of itself because consumers have grown so overly complacent. But thank God there are some big YouTube channels out there telling the truth about all these poor corporate practices and all the shit they're trying to do to squeeze more and more money out of us for less and less of a game. That's exactly what they're doing because. Think about it. That's cost effective. The less funding they have to give a video game, the better it is for them. And the more they can interlace these games with microtransactions and paywalls, the better it is for them. That ain't the better it is for us. There was even a tweet uh, a while back where somebody was talking about, uh, uh, would you pay for CFM and Madden? Like if they just took out CFM and made it something separate like DLC and have you pay for it. A fucking feature. You have got to be kidding me. A feature that's supposed to be in the game. And you actually had some consumers out there willing, saying they would be willing to pay. Oh, yeah, if they, if they separated and made it a fully fleshed out. No, they need to make it a fully fleshed out feature in the damn game that they sell for $65. They make money hand over fist off of Madden. Do you not realize how much money they make off of that game? Go look at their net profits off of Madden. Look at how much money they make off of Mutt alone. I'll put it to you this way. EA is not hurting for money. They most certainly ain't uh, hurting for uh, revenue. Shit, they make money hand over fist off of us. Off of our hard-earned money. So... Why wouldn't we have our own backs when it comes to the exchange of our money for their products? Why wouldn't we expect a solid product that plays solid out the box, fully featured? I, I don't see how that's unreasonable. But we have consumers out there right now that are making that unreasonable. They want to make people feel uncomfortable with demanding a better product with pointing out the bullshit and the unpolished of the game that they sell us right now in favor of that corporation that don't make any fucking sense I don't, I don't get that mindset if you're one of those people out there that feels so overly uh, passionate about you know oh the negativity the negativity if you're one of those dudes explain to me why you feel so oppressed because a consumer is being a consumer and using a critical lie to point out some bullshit in a toy so that they can get a better toy for their money please explain please explain why people should just fork over their money freely and don't give a damn if the quality matches the uh, price tag please please enlighten us all because to me, that's one of the most ridiculous stances you could ever take as a consumer. I mean, I get it if you wanted the dudes out there. See, I said I wasn't going to shout and all this shit. But, hey, you know, it is what it is. But I get it with, you know, the dudes out there to get the shit for free. They get them games for free, man. You know, there's no, no risk on their part. They're getting it for free. So they can promote the hell out of that bullshit. They can go balls out promoting it. Now, I won't say that's the case for everybody because there are guys out there that do get these games for free and they keep it honest. They keep it real. But there are 
a number of YouTube channels out there dedicated to specific companies, to specific games, that the only thing they have to say about those titles, no matter how bad they may be, is positive vibes, man. Positive vibes, dude. The game is positive. And see, that's what people think you're supposed to be doing, sitting around some fucking campfire roasting marshmallows and playing the guitar and being a fucking hippie and singing the praises of some game that fell woefully short of all the bullshit promises that the corporation made. That we should all be sitting around, oh, this game is just fantastic. I'm having such a good time. Pass the marshmallows. <laughs> it's like, God damn. When are we going to start being consumers and acting the part on our own behalf versus trying to lay down and be sheep on the behalf of some billion dollar corporation so they can get on their yacht and toast each other for a job well done and let me say this one last thing and I'm just gonna get off of here cause this video has gone on far too long I can't concern myself with the employees of that company as far as the people that do the grunt work I get it. They they work hard. I'm an artist myself. I know exactly how hard they work. They do their jobs. They get paid a swell salary to do those jobs. But at the end of the day, they're not slaves. And I don't have to feel sorry for them because they get paid to do a job. My beef or my concern is with the corporation. And my only concern is me, the consumer and my exchange of my hard-earned money for their product, a product that's being billed as a AAA item. So I can't get caught up in, oh, I feel so sorry for those employees that work as hard. I don't, I don't give a damn about that shit. They don't give a damn about where I work and how hard I work or you or anybody else. You think they sit in the offices, you know, working on the games? I, I'm just working on this game so hard for Todd, Bill, Sam, and Frank. I can't wait to get this game in their hands. I love them so much. They work so hard. They don't give two fucks about what we do. They don't even know us. They don't care. They make a product. Now, that doesn't mean they don't take pride in their work. But let's face it. They don't care about us on that level, and they shouldn't. It's a corporation. Their job is to make the product and to put it on the shelves for consumers to purchase. And we as consumers, well, it's our responsibility to call them on their bullshit when they put out a shoddy product. Plain and simple. It's not that hard. Anyway, let me get off here. I've said far too much. Just wanted to get that shit off my chest before I start dropping the uh, primary videos, which they won't be so interlaced with a lot of the harsh language. <laughs> I know some people get offended of this stuff, but hey, look, man, it is what it is. I just had to keep it real for this video. And uh, one other thing I want to put out there, too, before I do put out this content is that this channel is an independent channel. I'm not part of some niche or group or or just some niche community now if i'm a part of a community it's part of the gaming community as a whole not just sports not just rpg shooters or whatever the case may be this channel is dedicated towards consumers and games the gaming community but those of us that are consumers matter of fact let me plug our our podcast uh, right now, there's some there's some brothers out there right now where we're going to get together a, a podcast, and you'll hear more as we get this thing going, which will be pretty soon, but we're going to get together, and we're going to talk about these games honestly, because they feel the same way I do. We need to talk about these games as consumers on an honest level, and that's what it should be about, and we welcome conversations about games honestly. So I'm looking forward to that, man, because these brothers, they feel the same way I do. They're on the same page. And it ain't about us being some clique. Let me put that out there right away. It ain't about us being some clique. It's about us being consumers. So if anything, anybody out there that's a consumer and that's concerned about the products that they get when it comes to these games, then I guess you're a part of the group. 
Because you feel the same way we do about this bullshit. We're looking for quality. We ain't looking to just advocate on the behalf of the corporations. Just to follow status quo. We're looking to, to we're looking to view these games through a critical lens so that we ensure that the games live up to all expectations. So that those silly ass blogs they put out are not just meaningless nonsense. Hold their feet to the fire. Hold these corporations accountable. Anyway, look forward to that. I'm out. Peace.